OK, I just want to show you the two different configurable ways that Photo can handle alpha channel information with OpenEXR 32-bit documents. So I'll go ahead and open up my OpenEXR document here. Now, by default, Photo doesn't do alpha association or alpha post division when loading in these OpenEXR documents. So as you can see here from the layer stack, the alpha channel is imported as a separate layer. So just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and actually delete the layer information that I don't need. So we're just left with the RGB channel and the alpha channel. So if you then want to use the alpha information as a mask, a really quick way to do this is to select the A channel or layer and go to Layer, Rasterize to Mask. OK, so it then becomes a mask, which means I can then click drag it and nest it into the RGB layer. So you're looking for the vertical blue highlight, which denotes that that layer will then become a child layer or become nested. So by default, we have the flexibility here of having our alpha channel information imported as a separate layer. However, if we don't want that to happen, we can go to Preferences. And on the color options here, we have a number of open EXR import settings. We can simply check associate open EXR alpha channels. So I'll just go ahead and close this document down. And with this new setting active, I will then reopen it. And note this time that the alpha information has been pre-multiplied. So once again, I'll get rid of the channels or layers that I don't need. And I'm left with the image layer with pre-multiplied alpha. So I can then, for example, go ahead and stick a fill layer into this document, drag it underneath, and I've got the gradient tool selected automatically, so I might just drag and create a nice gradient. So there we go, really, just a quick video showing you two different approaches to handling alpha channel information with OpenEXR documents. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to ask on the Affinity forums. And don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.